Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your seventh Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about Jumbotrons. So originally, back when I recorded my Bootstrap 3 series, uh, I thought that the Bootstrap team came up with the name of Jumbotrons when they were high, but I've since found out, thanks to someone commenting, that the name actually comes from those big billboard things in the US, which was an education for me because I had no idea they were called that. So. That is a bit about the Bootstrap Jumbotron etymology. Um, in Bootstrap terms, basically a Jumbotron is a way to highlight some kind of marketing message in a banner-like fashion to a user. So I think the best way to understand what a Jumbotron does is to create one. So let's go into the code and get rid of all this stuff from within inside the container that we did in the last lesson. So now we just have this container. I'm also going to get rid of this star tag in the head as well. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to create a Jumbotron within this container. And remember, a container is the central column that keeps everything contained within it in the middle of a web page, right? So let us create this Jumbotron. I'm going to use a div tag and give it a class of, you guessed it, Jumbotron. And there we go, guys. We have created a Jumbotron. Awesome. Now, if we take a look in a browser, it doesn't look like much yet. Just this gray square blodge in the middle. So this essentially would be our banner and we could put text or images in it, right? So that is a Jumbotron, but what if I want a full width Jumbotron going from left to right? Much like we can see on the Bootstrap website, this is kind of like a Jumbotron which goes left to right. What if I want to do that? Well, all we need to do is get rid of the container which is keeping it within this central column. So if we take off this container, like so, and I'll just scoot this over here, save it. And now we're going to see that Jumbotron go all the way from the left to the right. Pretty cool, right? So this is all well and good, but I want to show you one little quirk. I'm going to zoom right in onto this page. And in fact, what I'm going to do as well is just alter the background color of this so it's darker and we can see it. So I'll say style and then background is going to be 333, which is like a really dark charcoal gray. And if we look in the corner now, I'll zoom in a little bit more, we can see this curve right here on the top and bottom and on the left and right as well. I don't want that. I want it to be flush against the corner up there, up there and down here as well. So how do we do that? Well, we can do it simply by going here and adding another class called Jumbotron hyphen fluid. And if I save that now, this time we're going to see those curves disappear. Now it's just a straight kind of flat Jumbotron. Cool. So let me just zoom out again back to default. And there is our Jumbotron. But now what I want to do is put some content inside of it. So let's do that. So the first thing I want to do is change this background to AAA, make it a little lighter again, save that and check it out. OK, that's fine. And then inside the Jumbotron, I want to add some content. So let's add H1 first of all, and we'll say welcome to the dojo, like so. And then underneath, we'll do a P tag. And in this P tag, I want to say a guiding light for the less enlightened. Have I spelled that right? Enlightened, like so. OK, save that and check it out in a browser. And OK, we've got some text in it, but I don't want it all the way over here to the left. What would be nice is if we centralize this text in the middle, much like on here on Bootstrap, we've got all this space on the left and right, and the text is centralized in the middle. So how can we do that? What centralizes things in a central column or container? Yep, it's the container. So let us add in the container around this text. So I'll say div class equals container. And then I'm going to copy that closing div and add it right at the end. Scoot these along a little bit as well. Save that. And now if we check this out in the browser, this is looking a lot better. So we now have a Jumbotron, which goes from left to right. It's flush at the edges, no curves. And we have our text, which is centralized in the center. So this is OK, but it's still not looking great. It's a little bit boring at the minute. And the text doesn't look brilliant in the center either. So in the next lesson, what we're going to do is take a look at some bootstrap utility classes to liven up this Jumbotron with additional color and textiles. 